This is an Oika interpretation by Rich Blondell of Dance, a watercolor painting by Marianne A. Kinzer. I asked this artwork to share its ecological intelligence with me. The answer came back in the form of a question, but only days later as I dove into a pond. Swimming way down between the atoms, strange and secret relations unfold. Quantum fields and fractals carry the logos to the surface. But let's let this mystery be today. We don't know much about the push and pull of such small charms anyway. When I let myself inhabit the fibers of the paper, I can imagine the particles of pigment suspended in water and wafting through a matrix. There is a process called phoresis happening down here. It's an act of physical discernment. Electrostatic attractions winnow the molecules into density gradients. Whether or not she knows it, the artist is attuning with the physics of this phoresis. It's a dance, all right. So these patterns of color didn't settle by chance or skill alone. They are guided by a deeper dance between nature and the sensitivities of the artist's hand and my mind. The patterns of shape and color emulate the patterns of nature. So being with it puts me in a state of softened boundaries. It also triggers what I know about biomolecular communication. Now I can see entities moving through time, space, and meaning, carried on kind currents of opportunity. I see creatures emerge from bloodstreams and brush strokes as cargoes of messages are neatly enveloped in vesicle orbs and shapely cells. When I join these relational games, I'm prompted to notice the radical reality the ontos of continuity, as below, so above. Dance conjures my sense of cosmic circumstance, which is inextricably coupled to the eternal. Across the scale of relationship, whether it's bonds between atoms, or between pigments and paper, or embedded in the cues and gestures of artists, or when stars submit to the gravity of galaxies, or when swimmers move through the water, ecological intelligence is working. The world as it is today is asking us to undertake another profound shift in collective consciousness. That big work, thank God, is but a remembering of the small joys that are available to each of us in every day. What more could we ask of science and art and minds swimming through a moment in a pond on a planet that's orbiting a star? So the question that eventually surfaced from the image was, can we fall back in love with the world today? Well, what do you think? <laughs>